Hey guys, good evening. This is Romney for Galaria again, your external processing tech guy. <laughs> this is going to be my external processing blog about my uh, external processing career. Uh, whenever I think there's an info that I can share with the other external processing technicians that could benefit with this uh, video if you guys watch my three previous videos this is gonna be um, pretty much all connected or related so I've been working uh, since this morning 7 a.m. and then I got off work uh, tonight at 10 p.m. so in the morning I work in a in an ambulatory um, surgery and at night I work in a regular hospital um, if you guys watch my videos um, you probably have an idea um, what is the difference between them two in terms of uh, external processing anyways um, so now our topic uh, that I'd like the topic that I'd like to uh, talk about or discuss is um, um, it's about uh, a cameras multiple cameras multiple striker cameras that got broken in the past um, less than six months I think four or five months in my um, ASC uh, workplace so um since as, as as i mentioned in my previous video um working in an asc pretty much you're gonna be by yourself there will there would be uh there will be not much of a resource to 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 get some info so pretty much you're gonna be working on your own and um so you you pretty much have to know what you're doing so we have one camera that got broken so i got it sent out to uh to get fixed and then uh, it got repaired and then um, I think it was not even uh, 90 days it got broken again so I asked the striker reps uh, or the striker team what's what's going on what could be the problem with it and then they said it it's uh, the problem was due to um, misuse or abuse from the cleaning they said it, it could be because it's um, uh, it could be too too hot the water would be too hot but for me since I'm the only one working there so that means the blame is going on me so I challenged them to um, to give me the IFU and um, so when I got the IFU I pretty much followed the the um, the instruction for use and they were saying that um, or there were they were probably assuming that we are using a mechanical washer which in ASC that I work at we actually just manu manually wash everything because we don't have a washer disinfector so you know I, I kind of asked them if um, they, they could investigate you know maybe there's something wrong with uh, the equipment where they plug the camera uh, my boss said they have it fixed anyways and it's just to get it fixed, it costs over seven thousand dollars, and to buy a new one, it costs twelve thousand dollars. And of course, having it repaired is still five thousand cheaper than buying a new one. But um, what happened was, uh, not even three months yet, uh, the camera got broke again. So I really wanted them to really find out what's going on. I asked them what's um, what could be. Uh, preventive measure that we could uh, uh, follow might maybe some some education for everybody in in uh, in uh, NAEC that I work at um, but it seems like um, probably because I'm only for them I'm only a star processing tech um, they're not even replying to me anymore um, and then another another camera a different camera got broke again and they said all they say is it's it's because of abuse um but they didn't specify what type of abuse so it just for me it's i it doesn't feel right because i know i'm I'm trying to do my best to to take care of the equipments that i'm working at and then there's there's nobody else to blame you know when, when they say it's due to um to uh cleaning because I'm the only one cleaning the, the instruments. And then, so another camera got broke. Another, they, all they say is misuse. Uh, so the first camera that got broke, within, within three months, it got broken again. So we asked if it was covered by warranty since it's only been less than three months. But they said it's only going to be covered if it was due to 
maybe the the repair was not properly done but if it was due to abuse then it should be paid uh with whatever fee that they ask for so i was just wondering you know it's 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 easier for them to say it's it was an abuse but how how can we find out that it's it's only an abuse but i guess it is what it is what they did is they just offered uh, a discount on the repair but still imagine within three months the camera got broke again so we paid seven thousand and then getting it repaired again or replaced but this time they replaced it another seven thousand that's total of fourteen thousand actually yeah fourteen thousand over fourteen thousand and if if we bought a brand new one then we we, we wouldn't have a, this problem well anyways uh it is what it is so i'm i'm the only one who's supposed to be digging into it because uh you know my my higher art is not really familiar with it i guess for a striker I'm, I'm only a technician so i'm i don't i don't call the shots so i gave my best to uh, inform my my manager my boss if um what i think about the camera but uh, the decision is still on on my boss if how to proceed and if there's a if you can file a complaint i don't even know what's gonna happen if you ever do a, a, a complaint and then uh yesterday another camera again got broke this time it got punctured by by a tenaculum forceps so it's definitely uh it's our fault not my fault but um it's our fault I'm, I'm still part of the team so um so it was due to uh, mishandling so that we cannot we cannot um question that so we we, we definitely have to pay for that uh camera if it's uh get repaired or if it's uh get gets replaced huh and so yeah uh, that's that's the thing about uh, ASC it's it's really hard to um you really have to know um what to ask uh, the vendors you really have to know about the uh, your your um the IFUs uh for your uh, equipments instruments cuz you you have nobody you have nobody to ask and then pretty much you're the you're the one who's supposed to know about all about your um equipments and instruments um, so yeah that's about it about uh asc and then now let's move to hospital setting so um i just want to uh, share it with you guys earlier so when i come when i was coming back uh from from break um i i was doing assembly i was my assignment was some assembly this uh today and um I you, when you do assembly you're pretty much next or close to a sterilizer and I was there for a few hours I didn't hear any any problem with the sterilizer and then when I came back I was like I it seems like I'm hearing a, a typhoon and you know I I'm familiar with the sound of the typhoon because I, I grew up in the Philippines and Philippines gets a uh, typhoon pretty much multiple times uh, each year especially in, in where the village where i'm from we always get hit by the by the by a typhoon so i know how it sounds like anyway so i was like what the what the heck is going on so um i called the supervisor so to let them know um it, it doesn't sound right and then so what he did is so he checked the the door where where they go to to maintain the the boiler and stuff like that the the, the piping and then that's where we um we saw like there's a there's a leak so that room is is pretty much like a sauna so we we have um we have three sterilizers and we have to abort them and so as we abort them we had to reprocess them right um pre, pr pretty much uh, repack everything um open them and this is why you should always uh open all those um instruments that uh, has a fail cycle because when I when I check those those sets, the sets are dry from the outside, but when you open them, there's actually wetness in the inside. Um, it doesn't often happen like that. Some some cycles aborts and then dry in the inside. It depends, I guess, um, which part of the cycle the of the sterilizer it it aborted. But in this case, since I I guess there's a there's a leak on the piping. That's probably what caused it. Um, probably the vacuum was not uh, not even um, working properly. And when we touched the 
the containers is not even that hot according to my supervisor and yeah i i, I definitely agree, agree too because i was able to touch it with my bare hand um so yeah we we peeled back everything um changed everything and you know the the locks the indicator cards the tapes uh the ci's they all pass and uh you know the ex external un un indicator on the bi also pass and also the 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 indicator on top of the bi it's pass so um what i did was uh once i pulled out from the sterilizer i i pop all the locks so that way no one would mistakenly uh, use it um because they they would be able they, they can see that uh, the locks um pass the tapes pass the ci pass and um they might pick up something that um dry inside but it actually didn't uh went through the proper sterilization because the cycle failed right or aborted anyway so i packed everything and um if you guys remember if you guys made other videos i talk about hospitals having a different uh unit uh an ambulatory surgical unit so because we have three sterilizers in the main hospital and all those three has to be um uh be down for for the night because we have to wait until the um the technician comes to to fix the piping if it can be fixed tonight so we we load up all one 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 sterilizer load in one cart it fits but wow it was super heavy and imagine uh pulling pushing that carts from hospital and then across the street to asu it was super hard um it was a workout for me but um uh things has to be done um and uh actually it was actually al almost time to, when we found out it was almost time uh for uh for our shift excuse me to go home so it was it was just right time so um i was able to bring all the the failed loads to the uh, other other building to the asc to be reprocessed because it's it's some of them are actually needed for tomorrow's case so i just want to uh, share with you guys this is um kind of a out of the normal experience it's uh it's it's expected but um uh if you're watching this and if and if you haven't experienced this at uh, this at least um maybe later on you'll you'll have um an idea um so when when there's a situation like that you kind of have to put yourself um put yourself uh to be uh helpful you know if if you think it's it's just right for you to take the initiative to take care of it then just just go with it um even though it wasn't my assignment but it, i was i was assembly um at that time the the guy in the in the sterilizer was on break so i took the initiative to take care of it because if i don't take care of it and we we wait for that guy um we're gonna be we're probably gonna be behind and if there's an emergency case we're gonna be um we don't know where we're gonna uh, get the other instruments which is uh we we have multiple specialties on that load that got uh canceled and um well of course i if i was set i have to make sure that all the needs are all the priority priority first um good thing today it was three of us who are doing sets so it was okay for me to um uh, uh get away from my re uh, regular assignment and then go to to help out with a sterilizer so i packed them deliver into asc and then when i get to AS asc i i made sure um i scanned them all and then push them in the sterilizer to uh make sure um because since i don't i was the one who who put it there I need to make sure that it was uh ster not I had to leave before it was sterilized but I I I told my supervisor that it was um it was in the steril sterilizer already. So yeah, that's uh this is my could say first random S sterile processing vlogs. So thank you guys for staying and I hope you like this video and comment down below if you have experience like this. And what do you think of this um of this um uh video? I know the information is kind of a little bit mixed up, <laughs> but I hope you you understand what I'm trying to say.
okay well uh thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next video please like and subscribe you are the best of my heart.